But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more of The Last of Us Part 2. And this is the Escape from Hillcrest run. This is a really exciting run. I had a lot of fun working on this. Um, I'm just letting the load screen uh, play out because I got a few things to say here. First of all, the bottle glitch. That is indeed a glitch. Uh, when I loaded up my save, my bottle was gone. I talked about this at the end of the last video. I was able to fix it by simply speed running into the area and grabbing a brick or a bottle. I forget which. Just sped run into the area, grabbed the brick and bottle, and then just um, pressed restart and counter. And that worked. Oddly enough, it actually fixed my hard save too. For some reason, I had occasion to load my hard save instead of restart and counter. And my hard, stay, hard save now had a bottle. So who knows? Definitely a glitch. Secondly, um, when you first start this encounter, the best thing to do is rush the two guys on the right who are coming over the fence. And the best thing you hit them with is a Molotov cocktail. So um, as soon as the encounter starts, load up a Molotov, rush forward, and try to hit the last guy coming over the fence, and you'll kill them both. If you hit the first guy, you may not kill them both. So, oh yeah, also arc lock on throw, that'll help a lot. That's uh, options, accessibility, alternate control, scroll down to the bottom, and you see arc lock on throw. Turn that on so that you can lock on your throw. All right? After that, a dog patrol is going to enter, and we're going to go up to the porch, and I'll tell you what to do from there. All right, here we go. Immediately rush to the right side, load up a Molotov, arc throw, try to lock on the last guy over the fence. I didn't, but it got them both anyways. And then rush to this porch here, crouch, and wait, and go into listen bow and see what happens with this dog patrol that comes in. Watch them very carefully. And we're going to hide out in the house. Now the thing about dogs, I've discovered they have one fatal disadvantage and that is they can't open doors. So when a dog picks up your scent and you're inside a house, this is ideal. Because the dog's going to come up to the door, the door is going to say, look, there's somebody in there. His master is going to come to the door and then you got him dead to rights because he's, you know, it's really easy to just simply aim at the door. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm moving outside by this box here. The dog took the bait. The master's gonna come through the door and it's easy to line up a shot, a walk-in shot, boom, there we go. Load up your brick, whip it at the dog, machete him, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Ellie, you such a badass. Okay, and I just want to make another Molotov right away because this area and the next area feeds you a lot of rags and alcohol, so I don't want to miss out on that. And reload the rifle because this area is going to feed you some rifle ammo as well. Guaranteed. On top of what the enemies might drop, which is completely random. Okay, make sure you grab yourself another throwable, that's very important. And this time the enemy dropped handgun ammo, which we don't need. Okay, so back into the house. Get some alcohol here. Get some rifle ammo here. It's always there, guaranteed. There's another throwable if you need it. And around the corner is a... Well, that's the alcohol, sorry. The other one was a rag. In here, you want to load up your bow and a throwable. As soon as we drop in, we're going to throw the throwable off to the right to distract the dog patrol. Okay, so throw it at that tree over there. And then we're going to try to do a stealth kill on this guy over here on the left. Right here. And I'm going to rush him because he saw me. And then immediately afterwards, get in the house no matter what. Even if they spot you, get in the house. This will slow down the dog if he chases you. Grab another throwable. And the dog grabbed my armor. That's okay. Machete him. And then immediately run out the other side. And this will lose the other guys who are searching for you. Go out the door. Going to crouch. That's one thing I love about this game. Stealth mode is so realistic. It's not like other games where once you're discovered, like you're you're discovered forever, and they'll find you no matter what. You know, you can go in like a six foot hole in the ground, they'll still find you. You know, this is like you know, you lose them. You you genuinely lose them. Okay, so I lost them. I got a throwable loaded up. So I got lots of options. It's going to wait for him to come around the corner and then just do a stealth kill. Grab him and stab him. 
This just leaves the sniper on the roof, whom you can completely ignore. But if you want the freedom to explore this place, you probably want to take him out. And here I'm just checking the dead dog to make sure that through some miracle he didn't drop some revolver ammo or something like that, which occasionally happens. No, he dropped a bottle, I think. Okay, so. Take the silencer out the handgun. I'm going to use the handgun, even though the best weapon to use on the sniper on the roof is your rifle with the scope. But there's handgun ammo in this little shack here. And I don't want it to go to waste, and my handgun ammo pool is full. So I'm going to belly crawl as close as I can to this guy on the roof there and I managed to pull off a headshot which I rarely do a <laughs> headshot <laughs> instant kill normally take uh, three shots three body shots to kill him with the pistol and you have two pistol ammo over there so you only end up spending one pistol ammo if you're going for body shots there you go and that's this area done. Took a little bit of heat, but it's okay. The next area, there's this dog behind a fence on the right. I've studied that and it seems to me that might be a secret area, but I can't for the life of me figure out how to get into it. I'm just speculating, maybe it isn't. But uh, if you were inside, there's the dumpster up against the fence that would allow you to climb out. So either something that the game developers changed their mind about or it's a secret area that I don't know how to get into. Anyways, I just speed run past it because there's nothing you do about it and there's no point in wasting ammo. You see that fence right there, that chain link fence with the barbed wire at, at the top? A dog's going to appear now. There we go. Just ignore him. Rush in here. And in here, they throw smoke bombs. I usually go off to the right through this skinny hole here and hide in this corner here. So what the smoke bombs do beats me, but when I first started playing this game, I thought that the smoke bombs did damage. They don't. So you can just hang out here with a throwable, throw it at this guy, and machete him. And these guys have lots of melee weapons, so that's what you should do. That's what you should use on these guys. They drop a baseball bat, they drop a hammer, and they drop an axe. And I think the guy upstairs does machete, so... And there's lots of throwables here, so that don't waste any ammo in this area. And the smoke can't kill you, so or can't even hurt you, so don't worry about it. Take your time. The only thing I see the smoke doing is allowing the enemy to rush you right away. You can't go stealthy right away. I, in fact, I don't think you can go stealthy at all in this area. That last guy there, he's hiding from me. I'm not hiding from him. <laughs> I just want to work my way over there to get close enough to get a clear shot with my um, brick. And then I'm going to whack him with my machete. That's an upgraded machete I have, so let's just jump over here. And there's always time to loot. Now I'm just going to creep up, whip the brick at him, and rush him, and whack him with the machete. He ends up getting a shot off before I can do this though, so he, he dings me up a little bit, which I don't want because there's a part coming up where you want to be at full health. Here we go, here we go. With the brick. So you got a shot off the bubble. Okay. Ding me up a little bit. Alright, refill the throwable. And I believe there's some alcohol or a rag in here. I can't take it because I'm full up. Okay, one final guy upstairs. Same thing. Throwable. Whip it at him. Rush up. Melee attack. 
He's gonna drop a machete too. Hang over the brick, stun him, whack him. Grab his machete. Don't ask me what I'm looking for here, I don't know. <laughs> oh, another throwable, yes, of course. Yeah, I always have a throwable. One of the most powerful weapons in the game. Okay, and that's this area done. There's nothing there, Slack. Like you've looked a million times. Forget it. Here we go. go, go. Don't let him escape. We got them surrounded. Close in. And the way to continue is through that window there. Right there. Okay, a little bit of a drop up there. Sorry about that. It's on. I can't help it. Um, all right, this next part, I always thought you had to just like shoot your way through it, but you can actually stealth your way through this. This is unusual that this woman comes in between these that opening there. Usually, she moves off to the right. And Jesse will stealth kill that guy. I don't know why he didn't, but normally that's what happens. So now, because we have a follower, basically it's, you know, the game makes you take turns. You kill one, the follower kills one, and now it's your turn again. So basically the game is waiting for me to kill that guy behind the fence there. And or take damage from him, at which point Jesse will help me out. I'm trying to get a headshot here. With these uh, super high sensitive controls, even with my aim sensitivity down to one. This might have done a bit and ended up missing. Okay, and the bugger did a little shot at me. Take some heat there. He's down. And then Jesse guns him down. So now I took a little bit of heat, which I don't want because there's a part coming up where you want to be at full health. And one final guy behind the car. I made a mistake and tried to grab him, sneak up and grab him, forgetting that it's basically full combat. It's full alert, so there's no grab option. I should have just snuck around and did a melee attack. I would have like would have got him really good. Okay, 
just melee attack right now with the bottom gear. Yeah. And he dinged me up as well. So now I ended up using a med kit, which I really didn't want to use. But for this part, this next part, you really want to be at full health. Alright, so now it's a rail shooter. Jesse is driving and you're riding shotgun. And by shotgun, I mean the pistol. And... You do have infinite ammo. Make sure you shoot that guy. A quick time. Well, I wouldn't say a quick Jesus. time event, but you gotta kill him before he kills Jesse. And the whole point of shooting these guys is so they don't do too much damage to you. Same with these guys. Of a drop out there. Eventually, there you go. Jesse tells me to take out the driver. Take my quick. And now it's hordes of infected. The only one you really have to worry about is the clicker that jumps on the hood of the, the truck. And this one is a bit of a quick time event here. Slam on that square button and Jesse is going for you. Now you gotta kill that clicker. So don't take a big four shot. That's it. Shit. Oh and you know how to swim. This is a cutscene for now, but eventually the game will give you control. And that is it. All the rest is a cutscene. I'll see you at the end of the video. You okay? Never better. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Here, come on. Oh, thanks. This way. Dina! Hey. Oh my god. Jesse. Hey, Dina. Oh. Hey. You okay? Nothing a little sleep won't take care of. We should get inside. Yeah. How'd you get past Maria? I had to sneak out. Huh. My friends' problems are my problems. Yeah. I heard you're sick. Oh, it's... It's just a stomach thing. Come on. Let's sit you down, huh? I don't know. Uh, you don't need to do that. Oh, shut up. So when'd you leave Jackson? Day after you. But there was bad snow when I crossed into Oregon. I've been doing 18 hour stretches for the past two weeks trying to catch up. Oh, I hate this bragging. She pretended to be asleep. Can't I just get her a gift and be done with it? I know. She wants an apology. Ellie. Ellie. Huh? Are you with me? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Anyway, this silent treatment. <laughs> Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said... <laughs> okay, what's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> Just got some stuff on my mind. You let me know if you want to talk about it. Okay. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stuff like that there. This next bit with Tommy uh, will be in the next video. And it will be all, all without commentary because my commentary... We'll just ruin it. Um, it's all like, you know, kind of like story shmory with Tommy and Ellie and kind of a flashback thing. All right. So no commentary. See you next time.